Welcome back to Studio <laughs> 701. Oh, Jeff. Well, it's such a joyful day. It is. It is. I love you, Amber. <laughs> Jeff. I okay. do. I love her. There was a Citizens Fire Academy where everyday people got to try out some of the things firefighters do. And our very own Carmel Victor joined us this or joined them this weekend and is joining us now for Studio 70 Fun. How are you, Carmel? <laughs> I'm swell. How are you? I was able to rapple. <laughs> you saw that, huh? <laughs> Look, we have thrapples and apples. Why wouldn't it be rappling? I love that Carmel just got <laughs> Jeff. That was so great. I said we're going to have the production team save that because he rarely mispronounces things. So we got to give him a little bit of guff about that. But Carmel, you got to rappel down a four story building. Oh my goodness. Walk us through the whole weekend. What was it like? It was quite exhilarating. I had the time of my life. I am not really afraid of a lot of things. I'm just afraid of dying. So <laughs> I knew that I was safe because there were lots of firefighters around. I, um, I went with one of our reporters, our KX reporters, um, Lauren Davis, and it was just a great experience. You could tell the firefighters really love what they do. This video is showing um, myself using tools for extraction how to extract people out the cars and it was unbeknownst to me at the time I did not know that I would have to wear like the firefighter gear and the gear itself was heavy and I was sweating just with the gear alone so adding the extra heavy like tools that we use on top of that like my arm still hurt till this day so I literally had so much fun the firefighters were absolutely amazing and they asked if I wanted to um, get file an application I was like yeah I would but I'm afraid <laughs> of fire so wow that looks like a lot of fun so now Carmel I have never seen you not dressed to the nine so please tell me you weren't all done up for TV <laughs> and then had to put the fire fire clothes on well, I thank you for the compliment. Actually, um, because we previewed the event, so um, Fire Chief told me what to wear. So he was just like, you know, wear what you would wear doing housework. So I was able to dress appropriately. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so was the jaws of life the hardest part? Was it the rappelling down the building? What do you think was um, the most difficult thing that you got to do? Honestly, the most difficult thing was conquering my fears, honestly. Everything was made to be in a safe environment, which was super, super important for the firefighters. And there I am, repelling off of the four-story building. I actually started off with a two-story, and I was afraid at first of the two-story. And um, after I did that, I was like, okay, yeah, I have all of my adrenaline. I'm like, yeah, I got this. And I promised Amber the video, so I knew I had to do it. If nothing else, <laughs> she was going to get this video. She's a woman of her word. Well, and you can see why we're so glad you did. That's incredible, Carmel. I and couldn't have done it. No, you conquered your fear. Like I said, I mean, I, oh, I'm afraid of heights. I know Jeff is too. That is so amazing. And oh man, what an experience. I'm so for glad sure. you recorded that too. Um, you know, whole newfound respect for firefighters, I imagine. Yes, there were plenty of firefighters there, and also um, there were lots of people from the community. It was, I love the fact that it was, it wasn't too many people, and two folks from Bismarck actually drove down specifically for this event. So it was, it was honestly one of the best ways I could have spent 9-11, and these heroes, they literally love what they do. And if I wasn't afraid of fire, I would have, you know, tossed my hat into becoming a firefighter, but maybe in another life, who knows. Well, we'd like to keep you around here, Carmel. So thanks for joining us live from Minot. We appreciate you being here, and, and thanks for having so much fun over the weekend thanks and letting us share it with the viewers. Okay, <laughs> coming up next, Marlo is going to let us know what we should celebrate today on the National Day calendar. And we'll let you know the latest happening in entertainment. What shows should we get ready to binge?